Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're back at the Texas Ranch. I'm starting off my Friday morning on the PC while drinking a cup of coffee. I'm looking for some new truck mods and I am playing a little bit of farm sim, but let's get out from behind the chair and let's do a few things around the property. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. Later on today guys, we're going to be helping out our neighbor who is a farmer. It should be a pretty fun project he wants us to do, but I think he said he's going to call us around 9 to 10 a.m. So I think let's have a little bit of fun this morning. Although I really want to take the Can-Am X3 out for a rip, I'm thinking, why don't we take out the dirt bike, let's get suited on up, let's go to dirt track. Let's get the old motocross dirt bike fired on up here. Should be a pretty fun day here for us. Weather is pretty warm, a little bit of humidity, but it is a beautiful day here at the property. West Texas is unbelievable. I really do like it quite a lot here. And one thing, guys, when we own so much land, we could really be as loud as we want uh, since the neighbors are acres and acres away. Just going by the chickens looks like they're good, but we're already at the dirt track. Having a track for our off-road toys like the dirt bike is definitely pretty important. Uh, because this is something we really do enjoy doing here. Hey, I might look for like a Honda. I do know Honda has some pretty good dirt bikes. This thing is running a little bit rougher now. It it's, uh, probably needs a little bit of engine work here. It was old. Motocross dirt bikes get used a ton. And buying one uh, for pretty cheap was probably the way to go to just get into dirt biking. We're switching from the dirt track to some high speed, ripping around the property, you guys can see we have so much land, and this dirt bike goes almost 45 miles per hour, so we are flying, but one thing, guys, I am noticing, I think once we get back from helping out the farmer, we are going to have to mow the grass here. One thing about Texas, we do not have to mow it every single day, it's almost like, I would say, every three to four weeks we mow the yard, which is awesome, guys, when we own all this land, that means we don't have to do it all the time here, which is a pretty good thing, but oh look, my phone's and so I'll cut you guys back when I'm done talking with the farmer. So like I mentioned guys, we're gonna help out the farmer and the story is his father just passed away who owned a farm nearby and he is gonna be selling the farm but he did let me know that there is an old vehicle in one of the barns and he said we could have it for free. He said we just have to go kind of clean out the barn and uh, it will be ours here. So I'm thinking why don't we take the GMC 2500 and we'll probably just take the utility trailer. Now I think I might bring a small toolbox and maybe a hammer, maybe uh, some ropes, different things like that as well if we do need to do any a little repairs here and there but let's uh, uh, get everything ready let's uh, go check it on out if you guys are stopping by for the first time please consider subscribing we're so close to 100,000 subscribers we're in we are getting there by the day here which is so exciting a lot of hard work has gone in throughout the years and it is a lot of fun to make these types of videos but here we go we got the trailer just making sure we are all attached now one thing guys this uh, trailer does not actually have an area for a winch our old load trail we used to have a winch on it but this should do a no problem here for us now looking at the GPS I already was looking at it on my phone. We're only like a half hour away. Our neighbor farm is right around a thousand acres here and he said his dad, dad's farm is right around 250 and he said he no longer wants to keep expanding so he's selling off the farm and everything that was at the property here. So picking this up for free, I'm not even sure what it is but I told him sign me on up because he knows we really do like old farm trucks and things like that here but I will say guys, this 06 Duramax looks unbelievable here in this dark red, the aftermarket wheels and tires but yeah, it looks like we're already... Uh, approaching the farm. Well guys, it looks like we're actually here already. That was actually a little bit shorter than a half hour, probably right around 20, 25 minutes. But here we are at the property. You guys can see it is a pretty small uh, farm operation, only 250 acres. And I will say guys, uh, look at this here. Lots of different buildings. Now I do see one over here. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get the door opened on up. He did give me quite a few keys, a pretty big key set here. Looks like this is just an empty one. Yeah, this is just empty. Uh, we won't uh, kind of uh, keep on looking in here we'll get that door closed I do see a few more barns I see one over here so we'll go to these first I don't think you could really fit anything in here let's see let's see yeah this is just a tool shed and this one here looks to be a farm let's see if we get the door rolled on up and nothing in here wow uh, some empty barns here he did say he already kind of started to clear everything out 
You guys have been really liking these barn find videos and I will keep them coming because these are a ton of fun here going all across the country trying to find old vehicles and old uh, barns tucked away here. But let's get this barn door opened on up. Oh wow, there's a little bit of material in here. Looks like that is actually some pretty good lumber. With lumber prices nowadays, that could be worth quite a bit of money. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's in here. Wow, I'm a bit surprised by that here. Looks like there's one more. Oh, there's a shipping container that is locked. Uh, I don't think a vehicle fit in there we'll check this one this door is open wow uh completely empty oh oh boy guys there is one in here so it looks like the doors are completely closed it looks like there's rocks holding it. it looks like there's a huge pound even a hay bale uh so i'm thinking guys it's in here let's see if we can look through the window Oh boy, guys, there it is. That looks to be a 1940 Ford F100. Wow, that is one pretty cool truck. Let's see if we can get a closer look on it, guys. Wow, that thing looks pretty cool here. Almost looks like it's covered in dust, and this is going to be a lot of work here. So we have to find a way uh, to kind of uh, get these things cleared on out here. So let's see, let's see, let's see if we can move these rocks. Yeah, these rocks are no problem uh, to get uh, kind of moved on out of the way here. But I'm thinking we won't be able to move these by hand. So I'm actually going to bring the truck over here, and I'm going to use this trailer to push these away so uh, we can get the doors open because this door won't open. Even this one can't with how it's positioned. My idea on using the trailer to push the uh, pallets out of the way worked out quite well here. Now, we won't need to open up that door. We only just need to open this one up here. Let's see, let's see. Oh boy, looks like the doors really do not want to open. Let's give it another try here. Alright, let's get the doors opened on up here. Looks like they opened up no problem. Now, I did do a little bit of shovel work here, but it looks like there's a few things in our way here. But let's move around them. And oh boy, guys, look at this. Yeah, this is an old Ford. This is a 1940 truck here. Looks like it is completely covered in dust. Looks like a little bit of maybe paint dropped off the ceiling. Maybe some oil. Maybe something. I'm not really sure, but it does look like underneath the surface uh, that it looks to be brand new paint here. The dust actually... Uh, kind of helps protect the paint over the years as well. But it looks like the tires are completely flat here. So, oh boy, I'm not really sure how we're going to get this up on the trailer. But what I'm thinking, we first need to move these pallets. And I'm actually going to back the truck right on up. And we should be able to kind of winch it uh, right on in. But really quickly, let's kind of hop on in. Let's check out the first person view. Oh boy, guys, this thing almost smells like a new vehicle. Almost 50 uh, plus years later. Wow, this thing is unbelievable. Now, this... This is a 1940, but I think he said his dad kind of parked this way back then, probably 45, 50 years ago. All right, let's see if we can muscle these pallets off to the side here. That one moved no problem. Let's see about this one here. It looks like there is a lot of tools. Now, we can't really lift it. We are just pulling along uh, kind of the dirt floor here. Now, one thing with dirt, guys, it does kind of cause a little bit of erosion. But since we're in Texas, there's no salt. There's really no harsh weather like there is with snow and things like that. So this is in really good condition as well. I don't really see much rust on the underneath. Using a few toe straps and my own manpower, it's loaded onto the trailer. Oh boy, that was definitely a lot of work here, but we're all ready to go to get back to our house. And I do want to, uh, to let the farmer kind of check it out in the sunlight as well. So I don't even think I'm going to clean it today as I'm heading back to the ranch. I'm going to give him a call and see if he wants to come by later on today. But I'll kind of get this all strapped down. I do want to be extremely careful. We do not want to strap it down in a place that, lo uh, that looks like we could really damage anything on because because this thing looks in pretty mint condition for being a 1948. Just got off the phone when talking with a farmer. He said it will come by within the next hour. Now you guys might be asking why does he not want it or uh, why is he giving it to us for free? Well guys, harvest season is right around the corner, only a few weeks away. You guys can see it looks like the corn is getting ready uh, to go here and he is scrambling to get the last of his equipment ready to go here and he said the property is already sold and he had a timetable uh, to get it cleaned on out. So I think this was a win-win for both of us. Hey, maybe I'll complete 
completely restored and give it back to him as a Christmas gift. Uh, I think that would be a pretty neat thing. Maybe we could do down the road here. I don't I don't really want to sell it since I want to kind of fix it on up. G give it to him uh, when we are kind of done using it here. But hey, this thing belongs in a museum. It looks so good here. But we're back at the ranch. And oh boy, we actually need to hop on the Kubota, guys. I think we should probably get to mowing. Uh, that way we could uh, kind of get it started here. Mowing the property is going to take so many hours. Like I mentioned, guys, we're going to leave the old Ford on the trailer. We'll wait for the farmer to come on by, check it on out, uh, since every time he's looked at it, it has been inside of a barn out of the sun here. So let's get the uh, barn doors open on up. I really do like kind of this old wooden barn made of timber. It uh, did come out pretty good here, but getting that attacher is going to be a little bit tricky. The uh, finish mower here, there's really not too much room uh, to maneuver. All right, let's get it attached here. We should be good to go. We got the PTO attached here. And I will say, guys, this thing uses a lot, a lot of power here from the Kubota. But this tractor works out quite well with it. Now, you guys might be asking, why don't you take the loader off? But we actually use it as a counterweight here. There's just that much weight on the front end. And now we are going to get to moan. So I think I'm going to put down the camera now and catch you guys later. So until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more. Thank you.